What is up my Poke people? I hope you are having a fantastic weekend and welcome back to the channel that gives away the mostest of the bestest cards. Now this is episode 15 so if this is your first time here thank you for stopping by. What we do is every whole number episode I open cards and then I like to give away the cards and uh, what I announce the winners on the .5 episode so make sure you look for those. The uh, .5 episode which will be episode 15.5 will go live uh, Saturday or Tuesday excuse me Tuesday uh, roughly 5 p.m. Central, you will have until 5 p.m. Central to uh, answer your answer to this episode's question, which will be found somewhere in this episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And what we got for today, we have to open two of these Copper Jaw V boxes, as well as two Toxtricity V tins. So just a wide variety of uh, packs there. So uh, hopefully there'll be some evolutions in those tins. I can't remember if they have them or not, but uh, I'm thinking they do. So we'll see. And uh, I am currently working on uh, getting my collection together and uh, sorted and whatnot because I have just a ton of bulk to sort and I finally got them in binders and stuff so so far just to kind of give you guys an idea this is my sword and shield binder and it's got a ton I may uh, show little brief glimpses of it uh, right before we get to opening if that's what you guys want to see like I said it's just it's it's in progress so uh, you got to be patient uh, like I said it, it, the only time I really have to uh, sort my collection and go through stuff and things like that are on the weekends because I do have a job I do work full time and I usually get home late and then sometimes I'll have to get ready for episodes and then film of course so uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to that and I will try to get a video just a collection video up and going as soon as I can so uh, I guess without further ado let's jump right on in this all right before we get started, I just want to make uh, give a huge shout out to everyone that has participated and uh, subscribed so far and just shown me uh, me and the channel love. Uh, you guys are simply amazing. Uh, like I said, if you want to give me a, uh, want me to give you a shout out on the channel or on one of our uh, videos or multiple videos, it doesn't matter. Uh, make sure you let me know in the comments down below or on my Instagram. You can DM me on there. It's at Mattman underscore Inc. And uh, just let me know if you would like to uh, for me to give you a shout out or anything, and uh, I'll. Definitely give you guys a shout out because you guys are the best community in the world. I don't care who you are arguing with me. I don't care. I'll fight you on it. You guys are simply amazing. And I also forgot in the introduction video, uh, today's giveaways are going to be a Hatterene V, a Waylord V, and a Dreadnought V. All three of these from Champion's Path, of course. This is actually a promo, but all of these we have pulled on the channel. So uh, I like to do that. Uh, I like to give away cards that we have pulled on the channel together. And uh, like I said, I'm starting to finally recognize which dupes I do have since I'm actually sorting my collection and everything. So uh, there will be plenty more of a wider variety of cards to give away instead of just typically the promos, which there will be promos, but just as a quick little uh, showcase, kind of a, a brief little teaser, if I can quit knocking stuff over, there we go. Uh, this is my sword and shield binder. And like I said, I just made this. Uh, I do like collecting the uh, pack art as well. Kind of showcases what set's going to be first. Of course, we do start with the sword and shield base. Some people start with the promos, but because the promos are continuously growing, I like to throw them in the very back, which I haven't started on my promos yet just because I want to go through the line, you know, but uh, we start off sword and shield base. Then we move on to, uh, was it Rebel Clash, I think, next. And of course, like I said, it's just goes on through and everything. I have most of everything filled except for some random commons and uncommons. It's crazy. Um, I have so many of the, you know, like the, the full arts and all that, but, and of course reverse hollows, but uh, like I said, I'm missing quite a few here at the end. But uh, and of course the gold cards we pulled, but uh, I'm missing so many commons and uncommons and a few rares. It's just, it blows my mind. Of course, this is Rebel Clash. I forgot to get some packs from those. So these boxes here that we're about to open does have Rebel Clash packs. So I'm going to take a little longer to try to save some of the art that I do not have. And just of those packs so I can add them to this here. Just, I, I, I like it. It brings it all together. And like I said, it moves on to Rebel Clash. And then of course, this will be Darkness Ablaze. And once again, I forgot to um, set aside the Darkness Ablaze. So... I don't have any of those packs yet. And then, of course, we go to Champion's Path and so on and so forth. So, like I said, it is a work in progress. Uh, I am taking the time to finally get around to sorting it and everything. So, uh, I will do a special video just for my collection and give you kind of updates as we go. And uh, so, make sure you guys check that out. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start on one of these tins. So, I've got my handy-dandy little kid-friendly, kid-safe scissors here that I use. So we'll just kind of cut this plastic off a little bit. There we go. And I do have a uh, tin collection too, but right now uh, it's actually those the white divider or 
card storage, you know, the giant white boxes are like that big, if not bigger, and they hold all your bulk. Uh, they're on back order from everywhere. All of my card shops around here uh, still haven't gotten any yet. So I think the end of this month is when they said they'll have the next shipment in. So uh, I'll be able to empty out a lot of my tins so I can start displaying my tins as well. All right, so let's move right on in here. First of all, we will be giving away one of these um, promo cards. Let me get some card sleeves out. I forgot all about that. I'll go ahead and go ahead and sleeve it up. There we go. This will be a giveaway as well. So we're going to set it off to the side up there. And here is the code card for you guys. I do enjoy giving away the code cards. I'm going to get these packs out. There we go. Nice and tidy. Set this off to the side. All right. So we have some Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base, and Sun and Moon Base. So these do not have evolutions, but it is okay. We still love it anyway, so we're just going to start with a uh, Sun and Moon base, and I can't remember which pack arts I have for this, so I'm just going to attempt to open it very delicately, if possible. There we go, got it nice and open right there, so we're just going to do a couple little snips. I apologize for taking too long, guys. I know you're wanting me to hurry up and get on with it, so let's just get on with it then. There we go. We'll set this off to the side. There is the code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. There we go. And we have going into... We have Experience Share. Alolan Radicate. Wishy Washy. Dupider. Marini. A Stuffle. Togedemaru, which is my absolute favorite Pokemon name to say. Alolan Grimer. A Reverse Hollow Bruxious. Brooks ish. There we go. Going into very nice. A full art team skull grunt. I did not have this one, so that is nice indeed. And I just absolutely love the colors on it. It is beautiful. Just looks like graffiti in the background. Just really, really pops. This is a beautiful card. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can get this light a little better to shine on here. There we go. All right, next up, we're going to have Sword and Shield Base. Clearly, as you guys saw, I am still working on Sword and Shield Base. I know I do not need these packs, so we're going to, we're not too big worried about uh, saving those. So let's see what we got. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. We have a Raboot, a Hop, Poke Gear 3.0, Golding, Golding, Roselia. Joltic, Silly Cobra, Blip Bug, Reverse Hollow Quillfish going into a non hollow rare or beetle. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention, I don't know why I said that there anyway. This over here, we did, I, I do believe we finally came up with a name. There was a couple of guys commented uh, on the point five or the last episode, which is episode 14, about what we should name this right here. I didn't want to just call it the VIP section because I know some PokeTubers use that name. So, uh, we, a whole bunch of guys, or a whole bunch of you guys commented down below, and uh, I, I believe I've selected the one I personally like the most. It, it's kind of a throwback for what's going on right now, which is a the Diamond and Pearl remakes, and this right here will be called Matman's Trophy Garden. So we're just going to call it the Trophy Garden for short, because these are our trophies, our beautiful baby boys and girls, and uh, so this will be the Trophy Garden. So thank you all for uh, commenting your just great answers. It was so hard for me to choose just one I like, because I like so many of them, but this for right now, anyway, we may change it up later, but right now this is going to be the trophy garden because it seems fitting with, uh, you know, Diamond and Pearl remakes coming out and uh, it just, these are my trophies and uh, your guys' trophies too because when we have dupes, they will be on uh, the giveaway list. So, all right, next up we have some Rebel Clash. Let's see, I'm going to try to, once again, I'm going to save these, try to, if I can. Some of them may be able to be saved, some of them not. So let's just see if we can... Save it as much as possible anyway. Now we're just going to push them on out. Very nice. That is a clean save. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. And if you guys do are able to get the code cards, uh, make sure you let me know uh, whether it's on Instagram or in the comments or anything, what you guys get. I'm always interested to see what you guys get. We have a Pelipper, a Speed Energy, Galarian Meowth, a Caterpie, Galarian Cor uh, Corsola, a Litwick, Shinx, 
reverse hollow Milo going into. Very nice, a uh, hollow rare Appleton. Which was funny, it's because I, I opened some packs on my own, uh, you know, just for my own personal pleasure, I guess. And I actually pulled this earlier today, so uh, there we go. If uh, I may start giving away some rares as well as the um, the ultra rares, of course. Uh, just like if you are a winner of the uh, one of the promos, I know promos are relatively common and everything. So if you're uh, a winner of the promo, I may throw in a random rare behind the card or just any of the cards. So right now, these are the uh, cards I'm giving away. So I may just slide in a little random rare from the collection behind it just to help you guys uh, complete your collection. Because I know right now cards are hard to find. And I get lucky because I travel to a lot of different places. I think I, I've spoken about it before on my channel, on the channel somewhere. And uh, so make sure you go check out those older episodes. Like I said, there's a lot of good content now. And uh, you'll find out a little bit more about me each and every channel. That's how I want it to be, you know. And uh, like I said, so I want to help you guys complete your collection as well. So... Uh, I'm probably going to do that. I'll probably throw in some dupes, rare, hollow rares that I have, and uh, just to help you guys out. All right, so we have Rebel Clash next. This is the final pack for this particular tin. And I don't. I think I've kind of butchered this pack already because there's some strong. There we go. Strong glue on that one. All right. We have the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a Pokeball, the Lampent, Hawlucha, a Snover, Wingle, Binacle, Galarian Darumaka, that beautiful, beautiful Vulpix, good old Kanto vibes, a Reverse Hollow Bunnelby, going into a non hollow Rare Cramorant. Alright, so that does it for that 10, so we're going to move right on to the next 10. And I hope you guys are able to find some Shining Fates. And if not, don't fret. They are releasing more and more every day. So it's just going to take some time to get there. And hopefully next year will be better. You know, they're still printing and releasing Hidden Fates. So uh, just don't, you can't give up. Uh, like I said, I was finally able to get some Hidden Fates, Episode 7, to be on uh, my channel here, to be exact. And I uh, finally found some Hidden Fates just randomly in a Walmart. So uh, they are out there. And if you are patient enough, you will be able to find some eventually. So we have two Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base, and Sun and Moon Base. So we're going to go right on into the Sun and Moon Base. Once again, like I said, I can't remember. I should have prepared for this a little better, but I don't remember exactly what I do and don't have pack-wise. So I'm just going to do that right there. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. And we have a Kwakawak. A Brione. Big Malasada, Drowsy, he's just walking along the beach, minding his own business. We have a Grubbin, An another Drowsy, wow, double Drowsies in one pack. A Crab Brawler, Sandile, a Reverse Hollow Snubble, going into, very nice, oh my god, that is beautiful. An Espeon GX Rainbow Rare, oh my, that is fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. Wow, the luck, the fire on these pools tonight, or today, I guess it's not nighttime yet. Hope you guys haven't been affected by the uh, time change as much as I have. It was awful this morning, but beautiful, big hitter. We're going to set that up there in the trophy garden. Trophy garden definitely coming in handy right now. Next up, we have some sword and shield base. Like I said, I do have one of each of these artworks, so I'm not too, too worried about them. And uh, if you guys ever want some, uh, if you guys collect the artworks for the packs like I do, um, if there's any that you want me to save and I can send them with your winnings or whatever, just let me know if you need any. And I will try my hardest to remember as I open packs, whether it's on the channel or for my own personal openings, I guess. We have a Hunter, a Thwacky, a Palpad, Snom, Grookey, a Shelder, Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, a Reverse Hollow Ponyard going into a non hollow Rare Rillaboom, which is one I actually needed for the set, and I pulled it once again this morning as well, so uh, not too shabby. Next up, we have some good old Rebel Clash. Let's see if this one will open any easier. The other one opens so clean. Let's see. It does not look like this one's going to be too, too clean. It doesn't really matter as long as it opens. There we go. That'll have to do. 
There's the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a hatch room, a car coal, beware the beware, Appalin, Galarian Darumaka, a Bunnelby, Volpix, a Phantom, Reverse Hollow Full Heal going into a non hollow rare Diggersby. And the final pack for this particular tin. Oh, yeah, that one opens so much better. Very, very nice. All right. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a car cold, a beware, that Skyla, nose pass, wingle, coffee, a bronzor, that cute baby toxel. Ooh, a reverse hollow magmar. Some fire pools, literally tonight. Going into a not uh, full art or not full art. Oh my goodness, ultra rare Eldegoss V. Very beautiful. Very, very nice. Go ahead and sleeve it up. And I do believe I needed this one for the collection. Like I said, it's so crazy. I have some of the uh, harder to pull cards, but yet some of these are just hard to get. And we're going to put it up here in the trophy garden as well. So that is it for the tins. Now we're going to move on into the copper job boxes. Just throw that over there anywhere. And the next card giveaway will be, or the next card added to the giveaway list, if I can get, there we go will be this copper a job promo here all right it will be that one there so I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve it up after I drop it and shout out to uh, my local card shop they actually gave me a whole bunch of these uh, card sleeves um, which I was never able to find a unified minds ETB so uh, just having those card sleeves are nice there is the uh, jumbo card and like I said, I know I've talked to a couple of you guys that actually like the jumbo cards. If you like it and you would like to for me to send you a jumbo card when you win, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I will gladly send you some because I am swimming in those as well. I finally have the binder uh, now for most of them. And um, there we go. So I have plenty of those dupes as well. So uh, if there are any you need or you want, make sure to let me know in the comments down below or on Instagram at Mattman underscore Inc. And I will try my hardest to save some for you. And we have some Guardians Rising. It's been a while since I've opened this pack. I'm going to try to... I don't get to see these all the time, so I'm going to make sure to save these packs. There we go. And these are kind of brittle, so... They do not want to release. There we go. All right. There is the code card. We have one, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Rest in peace, fairy energy. Or fairy type in general. And first off, we have a Watch Hog. The Multi Switch. A Komala. A Lowland Sandshrew. Machop. Chansey. Lots of Kanto vibes in this set so far. Snow Runt, a Pancham, a Reverse Hollow Whelmer going into, ooh, nice, a Hollow Rare Blissey. That's some beautiful artwork around it as well. Set that up there. All right, the next pack we have a Sword and Shield base set. Oh, I don't have to save these packs, that's right. All right, there's the code card if you guys want it. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. We have a Pseudo Widow, a Hop, Dotler, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Galarian Ponyta, a Sobble, Reverse Hollow Air Balloon going into a non hollow Rare Stone Joiner. See, I'm pretty sure that is one of them I actually needed, so uh, very nice. Next up we have Rebel Clash. Oh, by now I've probably saved up enough Rebel Clash, but just in case. Better to have and not need than need and not have. All right. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a Pelipper. Palisand. Milo. Don't know where Otis is. Surskit. Carp, Carp, Magic Carp. A Metatite. Milsery. Growlithe. Ooh, nice. A Reverse Hollow Scyther going into... 
non-hollow rare cramorant once again. Next up, we have the final pack for this box, Rebel Clash once again. So I think I already have this pack, but just in case. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. And we have a Tranquil, Metacham, Morgrim, Phantom, Bronzor, the Cute Baby Toxel, Applin, Galarian Darumaka, Reverse Hollow Bronzong going into a Hollow Rare Stone Joiner, so not too bad. Alrighty, finally we have the final Copper Jaw V Box. I'm going to throw that over there, will do. Anywhere over there will do. Go ahead and pop this out just so I don't forget. Throw that over there. And we'll go ahead and sleeve it up just in case. It is a promo, but it is still a nice little hollow promo. That will probably be on the dupes table for future giveaways. There is the code card. If, whoops, it's upside down. There we go. Throw that over there anywhere will do. Once again, two Rebel Clash, Guardians Rising, and Sword and Shield Base. I believe this was, yep. So we already have this pack, so we're not going to worry about it too, too much. There is the code card for you guys. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a pseudo widow, rescue stretcher, Hakamo O O O, Whalmer, Trubbish, Jangamo O O O. Now all we need is a Como O O O O, a Wimpod, Gumi, Reverse Hollow Altar of the Moon. Going into oh very nice a non hollow rare Rayquaza. Pulling a Ray Ray is always nice. We have Sword and Shield base. There is the code card if you guys want it. One, two, three, four. Kick that energy out the door. Going into a Seeking. Ordinary Rod. BD. A Chin Chow, Chin Chu, however you want to say it. Diggly dig, diggly dig. Pharisee. Golding, Golding. Roselia. A Reverse Hollow Muna going into. Very nice. Oh my goodness, at the pools tonight, we have the Golden air balloon go ahead and sleeve that up and of course i do need that one so that is very nice for the collection so that means now that we pull this if we do happen to pull another one guess what guys it will be on the dupes table so we will get rid of it too so air balloon golden beautiful card just i love the texture on the golden cards just absolutely beautiful put it up here in the trophy garden very very nice wow okay so so far the pool's absolutely amazing in the trophy pile Tonight has been great to us so far. Can we keep it up? Let us find out. Woo! That had that's uh that's some that's something right there. I these boxes are not known to be very uh plentiful in the pools, so I was not expecting all of this good stuff. One, two, three, four, kick that energy out the door. I do believe if I have another good pool, I'm gonna have a heart attack on camera. So make sure to look out for that. We have Metapod, a burning scarf, Oleana. Roly Coly Polioli, a Stunky, Clefairy, Valtor, Nose Pads, a Reverse Hollow Burning Scarf going into a Non Hollow Rare Mag Mortar. Very nice. And that, lastly, but not definitely not in the leastly, we have Rebel Clash. Can we get that last pack magic? I believe I've already pulled one of these. Not pulled one, but opened one, so we'll just throw that over there there is the code card one two three four kick that energy out the door let's do the slow roll for the last pack magic we have twin energy heliolisk dual blade magmar electabuzz i think he goes <coughs> oh goodness i choked up that is actually how he sounds. Look it up. It is hilarious. We have some Squavit, a Snover, Natu, Reverse Hollow Baby Boy Toxel going into 
a non hollow rare greedent. So today's pool, tonight's pool, however you want to say it, some absolutely magnificent cards. We have this beautiful Eldegoss V. We have this full art Team Skull Grunt, which is just amazing. The color splash in the background, absolutely gorgeous. Then we have this Air Balloon Gold. We definitely pulled some gold tonight. And then this absolutely beautiful Espeon GX. I love the texture going on in the background. It is amazing. I don't know if the video here just shows it off enough. It is gorgeous. So definitely some awesome pulls tonight. So just as a quick reminder, this episode's giveaway will be this Hatterene V, a Waylord V, which all of these have been pulled on the channel. So make sure you check out some of the older videos. You'll see some of the pulls. Once they start becoming dupes, they will be up on the table for uh, giveaways. So, like I said, we have this Hatterene V, the Waylord V, Dreadnought V, Toxtricity V, and Copper Jaw. Obviously, these two were the ones we opened tonight, and I believe we've opened a Hatterene V previously. So, uh, these are the giveaways. Uh, sometimes I like to go on Instagram and announce a surprise giveaway card. So, uh, make sure, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, at Mattman underscore Inc., and uh, just stay, you know, make sure you check it out every so often at least, and you may see a surprise card giveaway announced. It will definitely be before 5 p.m. Central on Tuesday, so make sure, oh, I guess that is a great segue into today's question, now that I'm thinking about it, because I like to forget. Uh, in episode 13, we a I asked you guys, uh, which region would you live in if you were living in the Pokemon world? And uh, like I said, I, before, or in that episode, I said I wanted to live in the Johto region. Well, today's episode, I'm going to ask, it doesn't have to be in the same region, but which city or which town, either one, would you want to live in if you were in the Poke world? Like uh, my town, I do believe, I absolutely love Ecritique City. It's just the uh, Kimono Girls and everything. You know, it's close to Goldenrod, so you have your uh, you know your shopping malls and everything, but it's it's got the Ghost Gym. It's just, I love Ecritique City. Uh, so make sure you guys uh, let me know down in the comments below which city or town, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a major city, but which town or city would you guys live in in the Pokemon world? Uh, like I said, make sure to comment down below. And uh, if you're a subscriber and you comment your answer to the question down below, you will be entered in to uh, Tuesday's giveaway, which will be one of those, or all of those cards, but only one person, per, uh, one card per person per video. And if you want an extra, you know, to increase your chances of winning, make sure you check out the 0.5 episodes. I ask a little trivia question on those episodes. So make sure you answer your uh, the answer to the trivia question in those comments, and I will give you an additional name pool. Um, the only caveat to that is you only get one card still, but it just increases your chances of winning. And uh, normally you uh, have to wait a, an episode in between winning. Uh, so if you won episode 12, you'd have to wait until episode 14 to win again. But if you uh, answer the tri trivia question correctly, then I will enter your name in once. So theoretically, if you're lucky enough, you could win a card every single episode. So uh, like I said, guys, I thank you all so much. Uh, everyone that's subscribed and taken part in the channel, all of you are amazing. If you want me to uh, give you shout outs, make sure you comment that down below or hit me up on Instagram. And uh, I'll make sure to give you a shout out in the next video if you want it. And uh, like I said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Uh, to subscribe like this video and hit that bell icon so you always know when i post new videos because new videos new content means new giveaways and thank you guys for being so patient uh, like i said the more we go on the more dupes i have the better cards will be given away i know it's a lot of promos right now but uh it's just hard getting cards right now and these boxes are just about the only thing but i should have a uh, booster box of battle styles coming so i'm going to open it on the channel of course and uh, there should be plenty of dupes in that box so i'll make sure to give you guys away or give away to you guys uh, some of the first booster, uh, not booster boxes, but um, first cards are you know, ultra rares or rares or whatever cards from battle style. So that will be nice. Uh, hopefully I'll have it by Wednesday's video. If not, then it'll probably be next Sunday's video. Well, guys, I appreciate all of you so much. I love y'all all so, so very much. And I appreciate everything you guys do for me. And always remember, at the end of the day, we're all in this together. Love you. Bye.